Now, reading is an invaluable skill. The Young Men Movement has taken this to new heights. It has given young village boys an opportunity to explore and review books. The movement encourages boys to read as well as debate. It also gives a better understanding of communication skills, which may be extremely useful in their lives. And joining us in studio is Gabelo Tabalala, who is the founder of the Young Men Movement. Gabelo, very good morning to you. Thank you so much morning for being with us. Good morning to you, Alicia. Tell us more about uh, the Young Men Movement. What in inspired it and uh, what has been the response from your members? Growing up in the village, it's something that is really, really not easy. And I had literally no one to look up to as a young man. And I said to myself, when I get older, which I think I am, <laughs> I'm going to become the mentor that I never had. Mm -hmm. And that's how I established the Young Men Movement, to ensure that the young men in my village can have somebody to look up to and they themselves can become somebody that the next generation is going to look up to mm -hmm. hence the establishment of the young men movement and for the response i mean we have 64 to 70 young men between the age of 14 and 18. so i would say it has been an unimaginable response because mm -hmm. for me it was just looking at my little brother chris chabalala and his friends Bokang and Alfie popping in every now and then to play TV games. And I said to them, I don't like this whole thing of you guys always playing TV games when we can do better things mm -hmm. like reading, debating and discussing, discussing all the issues that boys face in our community. And they came as just four boys. A week passed by the second meeting, six. Before I knew it, I had just so many boys coming in at home saying we also want to be young men of integrity we also want to be part of the young men movement and it is a movement hence we are moving across our mpumalanga communities and thinking of going abroad and mm. so i would say it's it's been exceptional and i really really thank god for that because i just wanted to see my little brother having a sense of direction and only to find out that this is opening even bigger doors for the community. Mm, let's expand on that, Gabelo. What happens actually when the, when the groups uh, come together? What issues do you talk about? Um, <laughs> I will pick on one of my favorite topics. Uh, last month, May, I said to them, what do you see when you see a girl at school? I mean, when talking to boys who are still at high school, some are still in primary. And they started by trying to tell me what they thought I want to hear. Mm. And like, oh, Abut Gabelo, I see my sister, I see somebody that inspires me in class. And I said, whoa, 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 let's cut that. I want you to be honest. Like, okay, Abu Kibi, I'll be honest with you. When I see a girl, I just see a girlfriend, especially <laughs> if she's beautiful. <laughs> and then now you see the honesty that comes out of their, their talk is what, what, is what helps me to try and redirect, Absolutely. you know, their thinking. So mm. then I buy them books, you know, they've read books such as Endings and Beginnings by Lili Tabi. Uh, right now, they were buying like different titles. And all these books are books that we actually have to, you know, pop out some money, me and some friends, and just try and get them this book so that they can read. So it's book discussions, it's debates about different topics. We had a, a debate where we were asking them uh, if is education more important than talent? And mm -hmm. you'd be surprised at the kind of answers that they were giving me. So you listen to them, you realize that they are aware of their background. But what I want them to understand is that from the very same community, like myself, we can have young men who will be future leaders. And that's what I want from them. Mm, I mean, uh, how long have you been helping in distributing books, Gabriel? In terms of distributing books, it's been really, really, really hard mm -hmm. because I have to take a few extra shifts from work and try to go to bookstores, you know, bargain in books, try to go to exclusives when they have sales. So it's been eight months to be precise where they've been reading, but now they're reading some of my collection because I've been reading since I was 10. So you can <laughs> imagine how many books I have now. So they ask, but KB, I finished this book, can I get another one? So I just have like, oh, which one can I give this one? So. It's been eight months, good eight months, and it's been very progressive. Have you managed to secure any sponsor in terms of those books? Uh, I wrote an article which I felt was a bit embarrassing because <laughs> you're talking about, people look at me today because I, I think I speak well, a bit more eloquent. Sometimes I sound unnecessarily grandiloquent. So you can even start hearing that now. I've improved from that village boy who couldn't 
utter anything beyond mm. John kicks the ball. Mm. So it was through the reading and people saw the article in the Star, in the Pretoria News, because I felt like I spoke from my heart and that is the truth of my background. And six or seven sponsors were flocking emails saying, hey, we want to help, we want to contribute, we want to send you books, give us your contacts, we'll come to wherever you are, we'll hunt you down. And some are saying, uh, we are a family that, is, that are avid readers and I'm a voracious reader myself. So they said, so far I have about six sponsors. I don't even remember some of the names because it's been really, really <laughs> overwhelming, but it's exciting at the same time. I mean, let's talk about the future plan for, for Young Men Movement. Are you planning to include the girls somewhere in there, Kabela? Um, <laughs> you the have girls. girls in your villages look, too. Look, <laughs> South Africa is a very interesting society. We have take a girl child to work. We have um, for black girls only. And now I said to myself and my friends and my brother and mentor, Abu Tepo, I mm -hmm. said to him, is it even interesting that whatever that is addressed at this organization, at this gathering, it's directed to men, like we are seen as monsters. So I'm not saying we're trying to create a society of young men that will be future dads, future uncles. So for me, it's about having a generation of young men that are good men, because mm. today we're saying there are no good men in South Africa mm. so, and mm. beyond. So I want to get to a point where we're saying there are no bad men in South Africa, just a plethora of good men of integrity, discipline and dedication. So we will have people who will help the girls, but for me it's about creating a better generation of young men that will take South Africa forward. Mm. So that's, we thank that's you. the aim. We thank you for that, Kavelo. Thank, thank you, you so much Alicia, for that. For and, Best of luck with that initiative there. That is uh, Kabelo Chabalala, the founder of the Young Men Movement.